weren't in front of me, I'd probably do some sweet shit. The so wildlife we're, hates We're us. out here at the Haltom City, City Zoo? <laughs> Haltom City Zoo, yeah, right. Wow. No, we're at the park down the street from our house. Our home base. I think we've angered the birds. We've I, angered every single bird in the park, I think. I think, I hope this isn't an Alfred Hitchcock situation. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little creepy. You might even hear the train here a little bit because we just heard it a few minutes ago and they constantly come through. So as you can hear, it's, there's a lot of wildlife in our area. Fun. Anyway. So we're out here today to talk about e-bikes. Over the last couple of years, they've exploded on the market. Yeah, there's, and there's so many different brands out there. One of the most prominent ones is Electric, which yep. is what we have. Um, we've had ours almost a year. Almost a year. And we've been enjoying it a whole lot. And please excuse these birds, they're driving me <laughs> nuts. Um, but yeah, we, we love them. We've, we've ridden them pretty much all over the US. Everywhere we go, we have them with us. So we, yeah, now we've Ron, tested them out. Yeah, Ron and I, we haven't had bike, ridden bikes consistently for quite a while. We dabbled a few years back and then we yeah. couldn't find the right bikes. But Yeah, our bikes were not that great. And now this is coming up close to our third year of RVing. Almost yeah, had our we're RV. almost going into our third year. So. Yeah, and uh, we saw the Oh, well, every YouTuber was doing a video. Yeah, all on. the big YouTubers uh, was last year. They were coming out and they were talking about electric bikes and specific, specifically electric bikes. Yep. And we're like, okay, we need to look into this. And these actually are on the lower end of the price point for an electric bike. So that's why kind of why we chose them. But they did come highly recommended by tons of people, and we absolutely love them. Yeah, now there are different styles of electric bikes. I'm sorry, different styles of e-bikes. Different sorry. styles of e-bikes, yes. And the reason why we went with electric was because they fold up. Yes. And it makes it easier for transportation. Um, we put ours inside of our RV on travel day instead of in the back of the pickup because they would bounce around a whole lot more in the back of the truck and we use that for other things. Yeah, now initially, you know, the thought of the expense of the e-bikes was a little bit overwhelming. You know, yeah. you're, you're forking over all that cash. Is it going to be worth it? Are you going to use it? But I'm here to tell you that we absolutely love ours. Yeah. So I mean, for ours, it was right at a thousand dollars per bike. But we happened to luck into it last year when they were slowly st getting into uh, clearancing out this particular model, the the XP the XP 2.0. Yeah. And the, we got the comfort package with it, and which was a bigger seat, and we got the different bike rack on it. Um, and what else? Oh, the, the upgraded headlight, yeah. which I love having that on there. I, I think that's great. Um, so yeah. I mean, a couple of pros and cons, you know, as far as a pro, it's definitely opened up how we explore. Oh yeah, you know? yeah. Some Most of these definitely. RV parks are huge. Yeah, when we were at Camp Fimfo, that park was enormous. We would have had to do the nightly activities when we were down there. We From where we were actually camping, to the place we were doing activities and stuff was quite a long ways. We would have had to plan out a long walk or we would have had to drive up each night, which would have been annoying. So having the e-bikes, everybody did that because most everybody had an e-bike and it, it's so much better than having to, you know, rent a golf cart, which I wouldn't have to do, want to have to do that everywhere go. So. Yeah, I mean, specifically for that event, it was awesome, but it's yeah. also opened up exploring other places like we got to ride our bikes in zion national we park we biked through zion that was an experience and we do have a video on it i'll link it below um but it it was absolutely beautiful and unless you actually do it it's really hard to understand yeah. the, the enormity of it because taking a shuttle is much different than being on an e-bike and just seeing well, yeah it. i mean there's were times where we were the only people in our group of six that were on the road yeah, you know, we were out there by ourselves just traveling down the road and it was brilliant. An amazing experience, you know, just truly, uh, like I said, it, you know, it opened up our eyes to what we can do. Yeah, most you know. definitely. Another thing is, you know, the state parks here in Texas, they have a lot of hiking trails. A lot of the hiking trails, you can bike on them. Except for Cleburne. Don't, don't do it at Cleburne. <laughs> well, that, the was, one, that was a bad idea. The one we went to. Yeah, I don't the know one, about the The one others. trail that we went to. Trail, one, bike, zero.
Well, even when we can't take the e-bikes, but we mistakenly do, we end up hiking. So, you know, that's better for us. <laughs> yeah. Now here comes a con. Sorry, bugs. They're heavy. They're um, very heavy. The bikes are 65 pounds? 65, like 70 pounds. 65 to 75 pounds. I Honestly, now, I don't know. They're just heavy for me. Electric has introduced a new line called the lights. Yes, and people which, love those because they can easily put them in the back of their truck or in their RV and you know it's it's much easier to do but yeah, yeah I, I, I don't want to go buy another bike <laughs> and I like this one just fine. Yeah and a couple things if you are interested in e-bikes you know a couple things to think of is you know I'm a bigger guy so we were looking at stuff that is I my weight will function on you know and it works on these. My weight wouldn't work on some of the other ones. You know, Costco's got a cheap $400 e-bike, but I would be right on the edge of their weight threshold, and I didn't want that. And I've seen those bikes, and to me, they don't look as sturdy. For some people, they're great, but they just, I want something that's sturdy. Yeah. And that will hold up to, you know, whatever terrain we're on pretty decently. And that one just didn't do it for me as far as that goes. Now, one con, one con that I have about these even though we got the comfort package with the bigger seat and all that because we ordered when we did, they the seats just are not aren't that great <laughs> to start out with. He ended up breaking his and ripping it and stuff. So he got a Cloud Nine seat, so that's what he has on his. I still have my original seat, which I'm probably gonna change eventually. Yeah, we're um, gonna see how my Cloud Nine seat works yeah. and then maybe get her one. Just all yeah. depends. So depends on how his works out for him. I I may go and and get me one of those or something else if that one doesn't work out. Another thing you want to look for when you're looking at possible e-bikes is what are you going to use it for? Yeah. You know, do you need one that's going to be all terrain? You know, mm -hmm. ours are all terrain and we've definitely put them to the test. Probably in some situations <laughs> where we shouldn't have, if but you, were in front of me, I'd probably do you know, they survive yeah. and, and they're, they're yeah. still going. They yeah. have e-bikes that are street bikes that, you know, are not made to be off-road then they have more heavy-duty bikes like the Hemingways you know, and those are a little bit heavier bigger they don't fold so yeah I think the Hemingways are upwards of 90 pounds or something like that they are way heavier yeah. too we're not experts we don't own them no so. no that's just things that, you know word of mouth things I've heard about those particular ones so. yeah and, and of course they do have different types some of them fold like ours mm -hmm. some of them don't you know some of them are heavier and if you're RVing you have to think of okay how am i going to transport these yeah and that was one thing that we weren't sure about when we got them we have a pickup truck but i didn't know if i wanted to lift these 70 pound bikes in and out of the truck into the back of the pickup because our you know it's a three quarter ton so it's higher and that would be a lot more lifting yeah currently we put them inside and we um, with mine, we just have it go right up the steps and we could, I, I'm in, on the inside, he's on the outside and he pushes it up and I pull it in and then we fold it and put away and we'll show you exactly how we store them. Yeah, we, we get, hers is actually wedged in the bedroom and it doesn't move. Yeah. With mine, I found through some of the Facebook groups for electric is that people would fold them and put them in totes. Mm -hmm. So if you get a 50 gallon tote, your bike can fold up and set in it. So I put my bike inside the tote and then what we do is we put it in our bathroom, bring in the slide, and we're good to go. Yeah. So that's how we transport. A lot of RVers have bike racks on the bike of their RV. Yeah, oh yeah, which, which is great, but I I would be afraid I would scratch something like the RV if I did that. <laughs> well, and our RV is not made for a, a bike no, rack, no. and we'd have to weld and stuff like that. But not gonna do that I think yet. we'd rather upgrade before we do yeah, that that's kind what of work on the doing. RV. Wait till we get a fifth um, wheel, and then we can But if you do out. have a bike rack, make sure that your bike rack is rated for the weight of these bikes. Yeah. And watch videos, do your homework to make sure that what you're putting on is sufficient for your bike. Because the last thing you want to do is lose your thousand or two thousand oh, dollar investment that would be awful. on the road. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're wondering, we both have on bike gloves. Um, that's because the past couple times we've ridden the bikes and we've ridden extensively right here I didn't know it but it kind of blistered and dried out the, the base of the palm of my hand and it was kind of annoying and painful and I'm like I don't want that so I went on Amazon found some cheap gloves for both of us and and we were <laughs> and we were on a pretty rocky trail so we were yeah it just bouncing it just around quite a bit as, palms you, as you'll see from and the, a lot of people say that about the grips on these that you know if you don't have gloves it's it may tear up your hands and and they're right. Yeah. So. 
So definitely, you know, a plus side is we're getting healthier. Yeah, we're getting more is, exercise. And it's fun. It is fun. I'm not forcing myself to go exercise. I'm like, I want to go get on my bike. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it gives us the opportunity to explore, especially in places where you can't bring a car or a truck. Right. But you can hop on a bike and get out there. So yeah. that's fun, yeah. you know, to find the, the places that not everybody can get to. Yeah. So, uh, one thing that you have to also be aware of is no matter where you are, theft is prevalent. Yeah, if you have an e-bike or even a regular bike, you should know by this point, if you're camping, you're in a campsite, make sure you lock them up or put them in your vehicle or something, but have them locked up really well. People have their bikes walk right off their campsite, middle of the night, middle of the day. It doesn't really matter. If somebody sees an opportunity and nobody else is around, they'll take it, which is unfortunate, but Yeah, you know. what was it? Was it Jarhead and Ginger? They had a bike stolen right out of the back of their truck. Yeah. So I And mean, we've we've mistakenly left our bikes unlocked and we've left them in the back of our truck unlocked after we've been out riding in a different spot and Honestly, I don't think I'll do that again. I, yeah. I, that makes me very nervous now. It's easy to do when you're tired and you're back from a hike or a yeah, bike. I'll, I'll do it later. I'll lock it up later. Well, later your bike not, might not be there. Yeah. So. so just, you know, our bikes came with locks. We actually used an old fashioned just padlock and a padlock and a heavy duty cable. Yeah, yeah a cable. It lock. works for us. I know some some people they put two and three different locks on their mm -hmm. bikes just to make sure. Yeah, so. just to make it more time consuming for somebody who's going to try to steal it. And if somebody's going to take it, they're going to take it, but don't I'd make it easy. Yeah. yeah, I'd rather make it more difficult for a thief, you know, make them work for it. So. And yeah. maybe within that time you might catch them or somebody else <laughs> might catch them. Who knows? Yeah. So. But like Rhonda was talking about, we're coming up on our one year anniversary with the e-bikes mm -hmm. and we actually love them. Mm -hmm. We do. Um, electric, just like any other company, has their issues, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, the seats were a, a thing that a lot of people have said, you know, people that haven't even wrecked their bikes. Um, they've said that the seats have fallen apart on them. I, I don't know. Mine hasn't fallen apart on me. It's just not comfortable. Yeah. So that's one of the things that people are talking about. And some people go, when they get the bike, they'll take it directly to a bike shop, make sure everything's tightened down. We didn't do that. We kind of did a once over, but. Well, and, and that's another thing too is, yes, they are plug and play right out of the box, yeah. but there's going to be a lot of little adjustments you want to yeah. make. Make sure your seat's at the right height, make sure your brakes are centered up, you know, because in transit things get moved around, yeah, things and, get dinged. Yeah, just like anything else, you know, it shakes, it'll rattle little screws and nuts loose. Just like your RV. Just like the RV, you know, so just do a once over make sure everything's tight you know make sure everything's where it should be it should be good to go yeah uh for our use the battery power has been great oh my gosh it's been wonderful we i usually keep it on um pedal assist one or two depending on depending upon how steep the grade is mm -hmm. that we're going up um i think when we we're in zion the bike shop where our family rented bikes they said keep it at three it'll be easier for you because we were up and down you know through the area so but even then I, I put it back on two quite a lot and I was fine yeah now with that being said with any place you're at check the rules e-bikes in some places are being banned yeah you know? unfortunately because um, people abuse that because you can put it up to pedal assist five or you can full throttle it and people are doing that when they don't necessarily need it and it puts other people in danger puts themselves in danger I mean but just for going around the campground running up to the camp store or whatever yeah. something you need you know the bikes come in handy mm -hmm. perfectly they're great you know go visit your neighbor or whatever you need to do mm -hmm. so it's definitely given us an outlet to be more active yeah. for sure and I put a little pack on the back of mine I don't know if you can see it from this angle but it's just a little it's a bike bag and then it can be a saddle bag kind of thing where you unzip it and it has more storage that, that goes down beside the back tire. And it, it's been great. It's just been fiddling with it to make it fit on this particular bike. But he has one too, he hadn't installed his <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> but And we'll put links to the pack and the gloves we use and even the Cloud9 seat in our Amazon store if you're interested just yeah. to check them out. So what has been the biggest drawback that you have for or con for the bike hmm. i don't know i've had a lot of fun on it yeah, um, fun. for me i would say it's the weight 
you know it's just it's a heavy yeah bike. It, it's yeah when when we both have to to finagle it up into the the rv you know and we both have to you can fold them up on your own i cannot and he has to get them into position in the rv where they need to be for travel day um that's hard for me i can't do that the weight is the biggest drawback and the grips the 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 handle uh, the handlebars, they're they're rough on the hands if you're riding extensively. So if you have one, get some of these. These are great. I'm not a hardcore biker or anything like that. I'm not on my bike every day, all day, or anything like that. But just being out two hours or whatever, it really tore up my hands. Yeah, another thing to consider too is, you know, these bikes do have electronic components, e-bike. Mm -hmm. So be aware of weather conditions where you're going to be riding how you're storing them yeah um you know they make bike covers for these but we've actually found that a five burner grill cover will fit both of these bikes perfectly yeah, you put the bikes nice and neat next together and that cover goes right over them and it's perfect yep and that's definitely saved us a couple, couple oh, different yeah. times and when we were well again when we were in new braunfels we got down to the area where we were having a gathering and we went and we brought baggies. Ziploc bags. Zip, Ziploc bags to put over the little screens just to make sure we didn't get water in, inside of the, the screens and stuff and mess them up because I don't want to have to order another one of those. Yeah. And which you can, you can order parts for these all, all the time on, on the electric website, but I don't want to have to do that, you know. Yeah, and they've actually come out with an extended range battery now too. Mm -hmm, which that, that piques my interest, so once we get riding more <laughs> you know we haven't run out of battery power so yeah, i don't you, intend to <laughs> we even we we had a full day riding in zion the whole day we still didn't run out of power no no we were so, down to four bars i think when we got back so which was great yeah so it was it was definitely a lot of fun mm -hmm. so these bikes have brought us a lot of enjoyment yeah. since we've had them and we look and forward we, to more adventures yeah as i was about we to say go. we're gonna adventure more with them so all right guys so tell us do you have an e-bike do you have a regular bike you know how do you travel you know if you have an e-bike that you love what brand do you have yeah, what you do know? you have we we would love to know you know what else is out there what else is really great so yeah i mean like i said in the last two years e-bikes have exploded there's so many different out there all right thanks for watching we hope you enjoyed the video and found some of this interesting or helpful in your search for e-bikes or whatnot so um for myself and Jim. We will see you later. Please like and subscribe and see you out there. All right, we'll see you out there. Bye.